Okay, y'all, welcome to the video. What I've got here is a 2004 Chevy Impala SS with the very common pass lock issue where you'll turn the key and the car won't start and the security light flashes. Um, this has just been a commuter car for me and it had this problem when I bought it. I bought it off a of buddy. It, it didn't really bother him that much because he just commuted in it as well. And it really just seems to happen more when you're running errands and turning the car on and off more often. Um, but it actually stranded me, you know, it's a 10 minute delay, but it actually stranded me the other day and for some reason didn't work after I let the car set for 10 minutes. Um, so I was stranded for 20 minutes and that kind of made me want to get it fixed. Um, if you get the pass lock fixed at a dealer, you're looking at probably 500 or more dollars right now. Uh, that's when I found out that you could fix it yourself with a resistor for, you know, a dollar or less if you want to. What I have here, and I'll show you a close up of it better later in the video, but this is a resistor that's already connected to a, a, a connector. So there's no, not going to be any soldering required. I just have to get in to access the wires behind the pass lock and then I can just snip them, strip them back, put them in the other ends of this connector. There's multiple vendors on eBay and Amazon that sell these, so I'll put some links down below. This was 10 bucks and it was it's well worth it because I don't have to get in there and try to solder behind the radio. So the first thing I have to do is I went ahead and disconnected the negative lead on my battery just in case, but uh, I gotta get this I'm going to get this whole front cover off, which is one piece, so that I can get the radio off. And then once I can get behind the radio, I should be able to access the wires that are going to the key switch. So I'm starting by pulled the, the uh, fuse covers off on each side. And then I'm going to get this 7 millimeter off here. And there's two more under the dash or, you know, above the above the dash you can get to it with a stubby phillips screwdriver so i'm going to get these two things off first and then see what i need to do next to uh get this dash pulled off so i can get the radio out and uh get to the wires so yeah uh, hang out with me while i do it okay so this job was way different than what i had anticipated i had seen some other videos on some other vehicles that you could take the radio or the AC controls out and get to the wires but on this one you can't it's all plastic you can't get back in there so I loosened up the lock set here and if I move it to the side it looks like those three wires are what I need to get to they were taped up and I untaped them um, there is a black a white and a very very faded yellow and from everything I've watched, from I understand, I need to cut the black and cut the yellow. That's what I need to be putting on my connector. And then I'll need to cap off the yellow going back to the lock set. So that's what I'm going to do now. I think I might have just enough room to get some tiny snips in there and uh, get that installed. Because I really don't, if I couldn't get to that, I really don't know what I would do from here. So, see what we can do. Okay guys, so with a lot of cussing and frustration and drinking, I finally got the car started. So let me tell you what, what's happened so far. I installed this connector with the resistor. It's a 2200 ohm resistor. I installed it and I did four or five relearn procedures and the car would not start. So I did some more digging and I found out that the resistor is just what makes the security light go off that the car should start as long as these two as long as the black and white black and uh, yellow wires are together the car would start the security light will just never go off well i could care less about that security light so i decided just to get rid of another variable and i just as of right now i've just twisted these wires together and after three relearn procedures it started so what I'm probably going to do, since I'm not 100% sure if the resistor is required, is I will probably put, put most of everything back together 
and probably twist these wires back together, cap off the other two, and leave the dash and stuff off and drive it for a while and see if it has the same error or if it's gonna act up um, before I do anything else. And then I will probably solder those together so it has a really good strong connection before I put everything back together. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do. So, if anybody else is watching this, bottom line, what I had to do was take out the key switch. I kind of pushed it back in there and got it over here out of the way where I could get to these wires. I cut the black and yellow. I left the white. Keep in mind, my yellow was very faded. It looks white. Um, and then I just simply wired the black and yellow together. I'm going to cap off the other two, and I had to do the relearn procedure three times. If you don't know the relearn procedure for some reason, um, you turn the key on, it won't start. You leave it on the on position for right about 10 minutes. You'll know because the security light will stop flashing. It will be on, but it will stop flashing. Now, I've noticed on this particular vehicle, I have to leave the door shut. So what I do is I roll the window down, and I just shut the door and get out of the car. Because something happens, if I open and shut this door, it like resets that 10 minutes or something. It's weird. So uh, I get out of the car, I shut the door with the window down, and I come back in 10 minutes. Security light's not flashing. I turn the key off. I leave it off from somewhere from 5 to 20 seconds. Then I turn it on. If it doesn't start, um, you're doing a relearn again. I had to do it three times with these wires together before it would start so uh, I have a battery charger hooked up too because my battery was already down to 50% um, so yeah you don't want to kill your battery but yeah it started for now so I'm gonna put all this back together and drive it for a few days and see if we get stranded and I'll do another update video so yeah you guys leave some comments down below let me know how, how all this is working for you thanks for watching